Hello everyone, so um, here in my small studio and uh, so in this video what I want to show you guys is as you can see I have the Manfrotto's auto pull set up uh, for my very space limited area and I have the 107 inch uh, backdrop, this is a paper backdrop uh, already installed on one of the uh, hooks on the auto pull so the rest of the uh, seamless paper I have is actually the smaller, I think 72 or 73 inch. So if you have the large uh, seamless paper installed, you really cannot install the smaller paper on there easily unless you have this little magic extension tool, which is also from Manfrotto. So um, take a look. This is the Manfrotto ooh, article number 047-2 and uh, this is a nine foot version, which is about the same length as um, the seamless paper over here, which is about nine foot. And uh, so what this does is you can put this piece together as a one piece and simply put your seamless paper in those um, extension tubes. And then you can use the extension tube to install the smaller seamless paper on the auto pull uh, that's made for the uh, much wider papers. And uh, that is something that I'm going to do right now. And uh, basically, I'm just going to show you guys the steps necessary to uh, install the tubes and then get, the, get it on, get the seamless paper into the tube. And then at the very end, this is another tool or another um, part you need, which is the Manfrotto Expand. Um, it's just called Manfrotto Expand. What those does is uh, the little thing goes into either your seamless paper, like so, and you can expand it and it locks onto the um, the piece over there. And then you can rotate it by turning the thing uh, over here with the little lever and a, uh, a gear set up. So um, I already have the one of the expand installed on the top and I have two more space. So I'm gonna install this white seamless paper on the expand on the second slot because I shoot product photography a lot and uh, uh, it's just much more space saving to use the backdrop all the way on the back and have more space to work around than using um, one of those backdrop stands which takes up a lot of space okay so I'm gonna put my um, camera onto your tripod and then we're gonna start uh, just doing things step by step and show you guys how it can be done very easily, efficiently, and cost effectively. Okay, so see you in a little bit. All right, so um, how this tube works, it's really uh, super, super easy. Okay, so as you can see, the tube comes with one end that doesn't have anything attached, but on the other end, you, it have uh, this little like clamshell design. And the interesting thing is you need just get a, a size four hex wrench ready. And uh, this clamshell, it's kind of spring loaded. So when you lose it a little bit, uh, counterclockwise, you're able to just take it out easily from one of the tube that it came with. And put it back in here. You just align the hole and then you can lock it into place like in the hole over here. And uh, why it comes in two piece for easy transportation, okay? So to join it into one piece, I have to do it over here. You simply just find the hole on the other end and just align it. And make sure the clam, clamshell piece is a little loose. And just press it a little bit and then somehow get those two holes aligned in here. So once the two holes are aligned, the last thing you do is size four hex wrench and just make it clockwise. When you tighten it, it expands. It, it's always using the friction, so when it expands, it locks those two tubes into one tube. And it's a really sturdy tube now. And interesting thing is, when you put this piece of white paper in there, there are probably still space um, for movement. And you need to just, uh, I'm getting really close. You need to just find something like a duct tape or something to actually stop it from moving around. 
in here. But basically, you already have this assembled, and you're able to actually just get a feel that a smaller paper is going to work totally fine over here with this 9 foot extension. And uh, so, next step, let me find duct tape and kind of secure the paper onto the thing, and then we can actually mount it onto the, uh, onto the board itself. All right, so uh, what I did is pretty ghetto. I just used some extra papers I have laying around and just rolled them up and shoved it into the um, into the empty space in between the um, the tube and the seamless paper. And it has uh, it's holding it pretty good. So next step, I'm gonna put the expand kit onto the two ends, and we're just gonna quickly hand them up, hand this paper up, and. Do some tests and see uh, if it actually holds up uh, just as expected, which I think it's certainly gonna do its job. Okay. All right. So the expand kit, and I think this is one super useful kit that you ought to have, especially if you have auto pull and a few hooks uh, laying around for back job. Um, the kit, as the name implies, it expands when you actually try to push it in. As you can see, it expands which in turn locks into the tube that uh, you're putting the thing in. And uh, when you have the thing locked in nice and tight, this, this thing is actually a friction adjuster on the end that doesn't have the, uh, the rotation kit because this one it, it's friction free. It just rotates around freely. This one actually has some friction and you can adjust the friction by putting this into the hook and then turning it around. Like the tighter you get, like the more friction it gets. So when you actually need to roll the paper up and down, you can dial it into a nice friction that you really like and the paper doesn't really drop down like super quick or like it's really hard to pull. So really this is something you adjust after you have put the uh, extension tube or your existing expand kit onto the backdrop. Uh, and after that, you do the adjustment on the friction, okay? So this is what the friction kit does and it moves around to accommodate the space difference when you actually install this into one end of the tubing. I'm going to show you guys really quick in a little bit, okay? The kit, you loosen it first, and then you just put it up in here, and then start tightening it up, tightening it up. And it should be able to tighten up really nicely and fit into the area very firmly, okay? So let's see. And as you can see, really quickly, I already locked this end. And over here. So uh, there are two different versions of the expand kit. One comes with metal uh, chain. So this one is metal chain. I actually got it on sale um, somewhere in the used market for really, really good price. Uh, we also sell a version with plastic chain, which I actually personally prefer. The plastic chain is lighter, so they give you a counterweight on the bottom. I'm gonna show you guys in a little bit. So right over here, that's a plastic chain with a little counterweight on the bottom. Uh, it's lighter, it doesn't twist as bad. And the metal chain, I mean, it's more heavy duty. Like this thing is surely gonna last, but it's a little bit heavier and uh, it just dangles around and it's really hard to adjust the length when you actually need to make it shorter. But, uh, um, but it works. So again, I'm just gonna lay it over here, and this side does not have any friction, okay? So you basically just put it in and lock it in there. And let's see, I'm gonna lock it nice. So once it's expanded and locked inside, it's really, really, really sturdy, okay? So there's really nothing to worry about. And uh, the next step would actually just be, installation is almost complete. We just put it on the hook and then I can use this instantly as a uh, you know, product uh, photography backdrop. All right, so one side is locked. The other I still need to adjust it for a little bit because it looks like the length that I did it is a little bit too long. So. You do some quick adjustment to make sure the tubing is sitting right in the middle. So make sure you're going to take, take the tubing more inside. 
sick. I'm loosening this on the spot so I can adjust it like right away. And that's about right, a little more. So now it's like really, really close. At least the paper could somehow stay centered over here. Like so. So after just a, a some quick adjustment, as you can see, I have already set up the backdrop, which is the shorter one, the seamless paper for uh, my basic tabletop studio setup. And uh, it's super, super easy, super convenient. So when I finish and I need to do some videos, I can just roll this back up and then just use the gray backdrop at the background for you know video recording or whatever uh, needs to be done. And uh, so that's how you set up the expand system to fit two different sizes of seamless papers. And uh, the trick is to have the tube, accessory tube, which is nine foot long usually for seamless paper uh, of different length, and also to have the expand kit ready. And uh, before those, you need to have a Manfrotto auto pull uh, installed over there as well. The auto pull is extremely versatile. If you don't have the auto pull, just get the basic hooks for those uh, expand systems and mount it onto your wall. But it's very heavy setup, so make sure you are actually drilling into your beams uh, inside all the uh, the studs. Otherwise, uh, your whole setup is gonna fall down like really badly. So my advice still is to get the expand with the auto pull with the hook uh, hook setup. I'm actually gonna post a link down below on where to get those, but uh, this is how you quickly set up a small studio for either portrait production with uh, the longer backdrops and uh, small scale uh, product photography with a shorter seamless piece of paper. Questions, comments, feel free to ask me down below. Otherwise, um, this is what it looks like. I'll press the wrong mode. This is what it looks like uh, when it's installed into the into the uh, the hooks, so it's situated nicely. And again, the knob is for tension adjustment. That's how easy and hard you roll on the other side. Um, again, the chain can come in either plastic or a metal, and the chain comes also in different colors. And as you can see, this is an extremely versatile system. Um, I'm not paid by the company to say anything good. I simply find this is the best setup for my studio. And uh, I have been using the, the backdrop stand for so long and now it's finally time I get rid of it and saved a lot of space. So questions, comments, feel free to ask me down in the comment section down below. Otherwise, uh, thank you so much guys for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please do hit the like button and subscribe and I should have more similar contents coming out for you guys. Thanks again and take care.